everybody. Welcome to another fantastic episode of the Greek AF Radio Podcast. I'm Ari, and with me is Fotis Stamos, and we have a very, very, very special guest today. This guy, uh, if you haven't seen him, uh, you got to watch uh, right when you get off of this uh, of this video and podcast because it's so entertaining and so like fun and so cool. Uh, we'll get to that. Let me uh, go back to Fati. Fati, how are you? I'm good in yourself, Ari. And as to your point, uh, and I, once again, another exciting guest who actually captured my attention because I stumbled ap- across him on Instagram. And uh, going back to our culture, food, wine, and dance. And I'm going to say this to you, Ari. You think you can dance? I don't think Wait I can Wait till you see our next guest. We want to welcome to the show. Jimmy Dembekos, uh, also known as Jimmy the Greek, all the way on the West Coast. You know, we're, 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 you know, we're on the East Coast. Jimmy's signing in live from the West Coast. Jimmy, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. My, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. It's, uh, I'm excited to be here. <clears throat> so, Jimmy, um, uh, Foti brought you to my attention, um, and it was like... It, it, like I said before, if you guys haven't seen him, uh, you have a huge following, by the way. So I'm sure a lot of people have. Seen it. But if they have it, just right when you click off of this, just go to his uh, TikTok, his Instagram, uh, and watch these videos. They're, they're so funny. Tell us, Jimmy, how, how did this happen? Like, how did you? I know you're Greek, so you have it in you. But yeah, but how did it get to this level? Well, <clears throat> what do you tell us real quick, Jimmy, uh, where you're from and where you grew up? So I was born. Uh, I was born here in the United States, on in Seattle. Um, uh, we, we, my parents moved us to Greece when I was six years old. Uh, went to elementary school, junior high there. Moved back in the states and high, when I was a ninth grader. And um, and you know, just like most Greeks, you know, family restaurants. Uh, all I did was work, work all the time. <clears throat> and um, my love for all this stuff, you know, music and Greek dance in particular, it was, it. it I, I I would I would pop oh I'm sorry about that I would pop in music, um, you there? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah gotcha. I w- I would always listen to music as a dishwasher growing up in the restaurant business. So I would always listen to rebetika and any traditional stuff because because growing moving back here I realized you know from coming from Greece I, I don't know a lot about Greek traditional dances like you know back in the day Greeks in Greece yeah, yeah we didn't know any dancing. So I was like, man, I'm Greek and I don't know how to dance or I don't know anything about our music. So I started listening to, to stuff like that from 14, 15 years old. And I fell in love with that stuff. And I, would, I remember um, ordering VHS tapes and uh, cassette, cassette tapes and CDs from uh, New York, uh, Greek music, uh, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. And, um, famous Greek music in New York. Yes, yes. So I, I remember I used to buy, I mean, my dad used to spend money. He's like, oh, you want Greek traditional music? We're going to spend whatever you want. So I used to buy stuff all the time. And I used to listen to the Betica. And, you know, sometimes here and there, I would listen to some rap, uh, you know, American music. And, of course, that stuff, my parents was like, my dad was like, eh, not, it was a no-no. Um, but uh, I love music. I love dancing. And um, then I joined the uh, Greek, uh, our, our dance group that we have here, the local dance group, the Greek dance group that I just, I, that's where I met all my friends. I didn't, until I was like, 21 years old. I didn't know any Greeks in Seattle. I wasn't involved in the Greek community. So I started getting more involved in the Greek community and um, uh, I, very can much. I, with, can I ask you real quick, how is the Greek scene in Seattle? Uh, is it a big community? Is it small? Is it? It's about, it's, we probably have about five, 6,000 Greeks. Okay. Oh, wow. it, it's, it's not very big, but the ones that are here, everybody knows everybody. So it's, it's, it's big to us. So it's and, a tight and, community. Exactly. <clears throat> So I got involved with the Greek dancing there and, uh, and I took it very seriously for many years. And uh, we go to down to California, mostly we, for the folk dance festivals, competitions. And I was, I was heavily involved in that stuff. And um, uh, all that slowly came, you know, I stopped doing all that stuff when I, um, when I started having kids because it was, it was just hard to keep up. Uh, and then uh, that's where my love pretty much, uh, you know, from all that dancing stuff, it went to my kids, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, we'd always, you know, do dances here at the house and always record. Uh, our, so we, we did all that TikTok stuff before there was such a thing as TikTok. <laughs> like, seriously. 
Good for so, you. So and, you, uh, you, were, you were doing this kind of stuff just on your own, you yeah. know, without a camera, without anything, just because you guys thought it was fun oh. and you liked it. Yes, and, and with cameras. I mean, I have recordings of the kids and us doing dances here around the house. And um, I mean, the camera was always on around That's the house. Funny. <clears throat> and um, and now if you fast forward, it's, it actually was kind of funny. I think it was like 2009. I made, I did, we were just sitting in the kitchen and we did that dance uh, uh, from, um, you know, the, the Will Smith, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, Apache, jump on oh, it, yeah, jump yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was just me and the kids were very little. They were like, uh, it was five and four. And, and we did that dance here. And then fast forward five years later, I'm like, yeah, let's remake that video. We remade it. And um, so I had two clips of that. We'll leave it to that, right? So then you fast forward 2019, where uh, slowly COVID start happening, um, yeah. and then we had the the lockdown, and um, and I had just gone I had just gone through a, a divorce a couple months before that. So I was I was down here quite a bit, you know. And then the pandemic happened, and I was very depressed. And and my daughter was like, "Hey, Dad, why don't you download TikTok?" I'm like, "What the heck's TikTok?" And before it became TikTok, it was it used to be called Musically. It was something the little kids used to do a lot. It was like an it was an app called Musically, wow. and then they changed that to TikTok. So I remember seeing my kids always doing Musically stuff and doing all these these things that little kids were doing. I'm like, I'm not doing that little you know for the you know that little app thing for the little kids. It's like no adults do it too. <clears throat> so I'm like, nah, you know, I was I was saying no, no, and then a day or two later, I'm like, all right, let's download it. So I downloaded it. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do for my first video? And I remember those two, those two dances from the first prints that we did that I had recordings. So I'm like, let's make a third one. So we made a third one. And then I put all those three clips together and it pretty much it showed the five year trend, you know, transition, you know, one year, one year, two year, three, I posted it and it went viral. My first video wow. right away off wow. the bat. It, and then I got addicted. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? It was like a, it was an adrenaline rush. And, yeah. um, and you know what? Uh, I always, I say this as a joke and, uh, but it's, um, um, uh, it's, it's real. Uh, TikTok did save my life around that time. Interesting. Depression wise. And, yeah, yeah. and, and because we just, me and the kids just stayed busy. We were on lockdown and we, all we did was make videos all the time and just keep posting. You just keep posting and just have fun with it and just enjoy making videos. And, and then we're getting a lot of feedback from people, you know, uh, you know how much they loved it, and uh, because they were on lockdown too, so they had nothing to watch. And a lot of Greeks, they're not really into this, you know, this kind of stuff. Do you find your your um, audience is mostly Greek, uh, minority Greek, half and half, just all over the place? What, what do you what it's do you a, know about it? I I do have a Greek following on TikTok, and that's because I've done a handful of videos of Greek, not a lot. So I would say small fraction is greeks but wow. they're very present they make themselves known <laughs> so <Of course. clears throat> yeah because i did a video um what's his name um are you sure you're greek or are you, oh or, excuse, me? excuse me you're greek. excuse me are you greek yes he 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 saw one of my videos where i i pick up the phone and i start dialing like i'm dialing greece and i'm taking forever to dial and then i start yelling yeah my course you know, like we always do when we call Greece, we're all yelling like, you know, they're next to us or something. <clears throat> and he thought that was hilarious. And he shared it on all his platforms. And uh, and then I got a big Greek following just, just from that video alone. Um, uh, and it did pretty good. And then I did a couple other Greek stuff. But, uh, you know, primarily I do this stuff, this dance stuff with the kids. We enjoy doing this stuff. And we've done some Greek dancing stuff on TikTok. I haven't posted them on Instagram. Yeah. Not yet, but. So, so you find, you know, this, it, it sounds to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds to me like outside of, of the whole social media buzz, this is a cool activity to do with your kids. It connects you. It bonds you, right? It, it's Definitely. It's just family fun and family bonding. Yeah. Yeah. So and, I, my, my, my ex has, you know, we, we, we have the kids. Uh, we split them. I have 50-50 custody. So when they come home, that's what we do now. Yeah, it's just fun because up until up until like maybe a year ago, two years ago, 
I would take, I would take him. We'll go bike riding. We'll go play football or we go play around it. Now my kids are a little bit older. Right. So they're like, nah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do this. So I'm like, all right, well, let's make some videos. So, and, and sometimes it's hard to get them off the couch, but once they're up, they're, they're ready to go and they're teaching dad some stuff. And, and, uh, it, it's a hundred percent to me. That's what it is. It's just, uh, making memories. I want them to be able to look back and be like, Hey, Hey, look, we used to do, you know, you know, right, our right. dad was, was, was sort of cool. Yeah, well, I was going to say that it's cool. definitely a cool dad right there because how many dads can say that they're viral on TikTok? It's like, yeah, I, I even like think about doing something. I'm like, oh my God, no way I can't do it. Like, I, I, I and you it. did it. So that's awesome. Jimmy, it's always I, been, I'm sorry. I, I was sorry not to interrupt you, but I was going to ask you as far as like the choreography of these videos. Seems like there's got to be a lot of work that's put into this. Correct me oh. if I'm wrong. So, I mean, usually, I mean, we don't make up the dances, really. The dances are usually what's trending on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. So my daughter's really good at dancing. And, and a lot of people, a lot of people will comment and say, oh, the daughter is too, she's not wiggling enough or she's not dancing enough. She's the actual professional dancer. She's just, <laughs> she's just uh, classy. And she's just kind of like, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. So she'll break down the dances and I'm like, all right, let's do this. So we'll, uh. We'll learn the tr the dance trends and then we'll split them up between the three of us. So that's where the us comes in. We'll we'll split it up between the three of us and we'll try to make it our own. Mm. And then we'll throw in the choreo. Okay, you come in here. You so we're always busy. Like even the littlest things that I'll do. Like uh, I mean, I these are these are little secrets that that I think <laughs> some creators probably know about. But like uh, when we make these videos. Always, always, everything's choreographed, everything like, uh, okay, you're going to walk in the back and, I don't know, take the orange off the countertop and put it in the refrigerator, then slowly come in the front and dance. Everything, all that's choreographed. So it's always kind of, because it keeps people, they see the, they see the video once, then they'll, then they'll come out, they'll be like, hey, let me see what she was doing. What, what was he doing in the back? Look at him. He went and put something in the refrigerator, then came back. So it just keeps people watching three, four times in a row just to see what everybody was doing. That's yeah. so funny. Which brings up the numbers of you know of, you know it keeps people uh, engaged. Jimmy, how long does it take typically to put out one video? Um, people, it doesn't take as as long as most people think. I usually like a video might take about half an hour. Oh, okay. Because the dancing is the dancing is pretty. Um, we're all dancers. We we're, we're perform. We like to perform. So and you know there's some. Growing up, everybody used to call me a show off because I was always like to be the center of attention and all that. But now I'm trying to give them the uh, the the, uh, the center of attention. So usually about half an hour. If it's a complicated one, then it might take take a little bit longer. But we try to we try to kick out once a week. We try to make three four videos in a day. In a day. So we'll take a couple hours and put them together, and then. Um, and, and then every, everything's saved pretty much on 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 the on the on the app. So I'll just go on there and you know filter some stuff or nice. uh, or or try to go through all our takes and see which one's the best one. So it doesn't take that long. Do you, so have, cool. you have a collection of blooper footage? Um, <laughs> I do have some. I usually delete them so I can make room because I don't want to go. Oh, uh, which one was the video? No, that I no, you got you got to you got to keep it all because. In the future, when you're like you know, 10 million <laughs> followers, uh, yeah. you know, this blooper reel could be gold. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know my daughter, my daughter's always like, oh, keep it, keep it. No, keep this one. I'm like, no, we don't have time to keep it. Just let's keep making videos. We got to keep making videos. That's awesome. so. So I do have a big draft uh, selection. So uh, th there's plenty of this, there's, there's plenty of bloopers if we want bloopers. This is great. This is great. That's so funny. So, okay. So this is, uh, it's so cool. And, and, you know, we want everybody absolutely to check it out because they, they're going to love it once they see it. Um, and, you know, just the numbers that you have prove that you guys are doing some really cool stuff. Well, it's not only, um, sorry to interrupt you, it's not only the, um, it's it's always changing. Like, um, I remember the uh, first video that I posted uh, that that took off was obviously the one with my kids, the five-year increments uh, mm -hmm. of the dancing part. That took off. And then... It took uh, maybe a couple of weeks. And then um, there was another dance that was very popular around the time called the, the Laffy Taffy. And uh, pretty much the girls, all the pretty girls, they, were, they would go and just turn around and they would pop it, you know, in front of the camera. <laughs> so <clears throat> my daughter at the time, she was like, hey, dad, let's do this one. I'm like, 
I'm like, I'm not doing that one with you. I'm not doing that one. And I was just sitting on the couch. I'm like, Georgie, give me the, the cooking pan. Uh, it was like a cookie sheet. You guys haven't seen this way in the beginning. So we danced. And then when it was time to turn around, I, he was standing off angle, off the camera. So it was like, she, so if you're looking at me right now, he was like standing, you couldn't see him. So he was holding the pan. So we danced, danced, and then it was turn, turn around. I grabbed the pan, I cover her butt, and I pop it. <laughs> and oh, I, okay. she pretended like she didn't know what happened. Viral. It That's went so nuts. It went so viral. I was having middle in Middle East, uh, Greece. People in Greece were seeing it, not from me, from people, other people that were sharing it, yeah. that were reaching out to other Greeks, to other Greeks. And they're like, oh, man, you know, everybody's reaching out saying, who's this guy? And, and um, so we did a bunch of that. Then that kind of got a little bit old. And then uh, my, my kids wanted my ex-wife, their mom, to be in the videos. So <clears throat> that's when I introduced her. I don't know if you've seen much, much of my TikToks. I know on Instagram lately, uh, that's, I haven't posted anything with her on Instagram, but I think maybe one or two videos. Um, I, uh, I picked her up, I put her on the counter, and I did like a dance. And then I captioned, I, you know, I, and in captions, I pretty much put um, me dancing to reduce child support. <laughs> <laughs> so the majority of people, they, they, they knew it was funny. But then you had some people that were like, whoa, what's wrong with this guy? He doesn't want to pay child. So it created like a little bit of a, uh, controversy. You know, controversy. So that became very popular. That, that went super viral. And then I started doing more of those also in with the kids separate or sometimes with the kids involved. So, and then it became this co-parenting uh, uh, um, uh, account in a sense. Uh, I had a lot of divorce people, a lot of people getting a divorce separate. So I, I was kind of like, uh, it was becoming like, I think I was like, damn, am I like a role model now for co-parents? Because they see how well we get along and we get along like very well. That's awesome. And um, so, and then some from that, now we do, you know, a lot of the, the dance with my kids. Uh, recently I had one, uh, I posted it on my Facebook. I didn't, I don't know if I posted it on Instagram. Um, the most recent one that went, that was, that did, had very success was my, my ex was sitting on the couch and I jumped up from behind her and I did like a lip sync dance uh, song and I kind of shook my hips next to her. And that, that, I don't know, for some reason that, that went the direction, many of my videos I've never gone. It went, uh, it got like 23 point something million views on TikTok. Wow. Um, it went, it went crazy. And they put me in the new and in in some articles on Yahoo. And um, it was fun. It was successful. My ex doesn't really like the, uh, um, the attention. So she's always like, Oh Jesus, the people are going to know my name now and all this. I go, Nobody knows your name. Nobody knows nothing. So Jimmy, it sounds like at some point you're going to, someone's going to be knocking on your door to sign oh. back for like videos and dancing. And it just, it sounds inevitable. I, I, I I'll take it, but at the same time, I, I people always say I'm like I don't I don't care if it happens. I'll take advantage of it, but if it doesn't, I, yeah, you're, I love... you're you're not you're not in it for that reason. But no. if it happens, great, more power to you, right? That's, it's that's, it's it's, it's I mean, just like you guys. You, it's just like you guys. You guys love what you guys do. This right? right? Same thing. It's nothing different. It's kind of like like I'll wake up and uh, let's, let's make a video. Sometimes I feel like not making a video, but. I know tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like making a video, so it's always it's yeah. Always, it, it's hard to always be on, so like you got you know you take your own personal time and then rev yourself up and get back to it. But it, I mean, it seems like again I I don't know a lot about being a viral like star because nobody wants to listen to me talk or funny, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it sounds like you know this this could if this keeps growing like this could you could make a full-time living off of this yeah i mean just by with views alone on facebook facebook and instagram pays for views and, and i take advantage of that um should, yeah it's not sustainable because like yeah one month i'll go viral and then it, all you need is one video to go viral and for the next month or two all your videos are being watched so you're just up here and then the next month you, whoop, you drop back down so I have, uh, I do, I, 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 people do reach out usually, uh, artists, uh, for music and they'll want to push their music. So they'll reach out and they'll pay, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks for you to do uh, a video that, you know, with their music, which I do very often. Yeah, but you know, you, you, there's a lot, there's a lot of ways in that same style. Like, oh yeah. A, a clothes, a clothes designer could be like, can you wear my t-shirt? 
Yes. Uh, whatever a hat person could wear my hat. I mean, there's a lot of ways. As long as you yeah. have those numbers, sky's the limit. Yeah. You can really go all out. <laughs> And the more you grow, the more, you know, the more obviously opportunities and uh, okay. more, more people are interested in you. And so, I mean, That's I like having fun with it. So we'll just keep having fun. And uh, I mean, I have, I've had uh, just this year alone, I've had three uh, uh, people reach out uh, for, to be on TV. Oh, wow. I had. Uh, I I had Ellen, has Ellen reached out? She, she, no. Exactly not, like not, upper alley. No talk shows like that yet. It's been. Actually, reality TV shows they've mm. been reached out. One was uh, for um, to go on a, on, a, on a cooking show, War America's Worst Cooks. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, and oh, then wow. the, when, the <laughs> when, the when the producers reached out, their first question was, okay, do you know how to cook? So I, I try to lie, see how far, far I go. I go, no, not really. They're like, well, you're Greek. I mean, do, do you not know how to cook at all? And I'm like, well, I mean, I, yeah, I guess I do. They're like, well, no, we need somebody. So that went. Uh, that, that went bye bye, and then um, and then I had uh, another company reach out. It was a TV show, a reality show on the Discovery Channel. Uh, they wanted me to be on there for with it was like a raft uh, survival thing, like fifteen people on a raft for twenty five days. I was like, nah, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> That's so yeah, you could. I think that was a smart move. <laughs> no, but the best one, I think this one could have worked out, but it was uh, it was a production company that wanted me to sign with them and they were going to come out they wanted to do a documentary of co-parenting oh okay so they were going to come out and you know camp out here in uh, my house and uh, follow us around for a couple of weeks or i don't know how long and they just get a lot of a lot of a lot of film on us and then they were going to wait for a network to pick it up and see what happens and but my ex wasn't very um comfortable with that so i had to turn that one down but that one probably was the biggest one that probably has come across well, well there'll be other opportunities. I was gonna say if if, if these things already happened at this point, I mean yeah. you're definitely gonna have more. I mean, there's no way it won't happen. So that's if it happens, great. And I'll take advantage of it. If not, I'm okay with it. I love doing what we're doing and we're just having fun and um more and we'll more just keep doing you. what we're doing, you know. To you. Sounds like a awesome. true Greek right there. Take yeah. advantage of what you can, but have fun regardless. A hundred percent. I mean, love it. you know, and I, I'm I'm in the process now of trying to tap into YouTube. Ah, that yeah. was little... I, I was going to say, you YouTube, you should be all over that, no? Yeah, it's it's a little bit harder for what I do because 15-second clips of just dancing, you know, you need to engage more with the, with the, with the audience, if I'm correct. Interesting, yeah. But I, I do think that YouTube is trying to kind of get on that TikTok uh, wave yeah. with doing short clips, right? I think they launched something like that. They, they did and i did get on it and i and i did pretty good in the beginning but then all of a sudden things came to they, things slowed down even with my very viral videos i would post that stuff and it was kind of like these were things just froze so i don't know if they're still pushing that as much i'm it, sure they'll probably try to jump on eventually again I yeah don't think it was you, know, successful. you know it's it's a it's tough man this is this is work i mean i, I some people sit out there watching and they're like oh he's dancing around it must be so easy yeah. it's yeah. work it's like because you also have like these algorithms and you have to know like you know how to tag your stuff you have to know how to like yeah. you know write the description the the content has to be good you have to keep at it you, there's a lot that goes into it that people just don't understand and when yeah. you say that you're viral on tiktok but you're having trouble with youtube that's because you know TikTok kind of caught on to who you are and what you do and those algorithms work and, and expose you to more people and more people like you and it works so conveniently where YouTube, you may not have hit it yet, but you could, but you have yeah. to keep working at it. So it's a job. It literally is a job. It, you just got to keep, and, and the truth is I haven't been pursuing it like I should on YouTube. I, I've been, I was focusing on TikTok a lot and then I was kind of focusing on Instagram and then I'm like, let me see what I can do on Facebook because Facebook's like in the dark. Nobody talks about Facebook much. And then it was back in November when they introduced uh, Reels. And then I'm like, let me just post a video on here. And then it started, it, it, went, it, it took off. And I'm like, okay, I'll post another one. And that one took off. And all of a sudden I went from like a thousand followers that I started with because I had a private account. So I only had a few people following me. All of a sudden I went from a thousand to 6,000. And then I'm like, 
okay, what's going on? Let me just keep posting. So I keep posting. All of a sudden, I was just just hmm. going up on followers. And right now, I think I'm currently sitting uh, on Facebook um, at 145,000. Wow. So don't don't knock on Facebook. Facebook's, I think, <laughs> Facebook just started in November. And I think they're very serious about because it because it's an older uh it's an older audience mm-hmm. and, and i you can tell if you go into my comments i try to filter through them because i get a lot of a lot of a lot of hate from older people <laughs> really oh my god oh yeah they're just Talking. ripping on me Talking. big time yeah you should you should do a whole other video uh, uh uh a whole other genre of videos of just uh you dealing with uh with okay. comments <laughs> yes I, I i did something like that on, on on tiktok a long time ago that's a good idea i might i might i might uh, i might do that <laughs> it would be entertaining because people online you know when they're hiding behind their uh online personas they're just ruthless ruthless oh yeah and, and face and facebook's really bad yeah it's, it's real i get private messages from people but that's a that's a small fraction like the yeah, biggest yeah. The, the most of the people they're just they love that stuff and and uh you guys should try out. Are you guys on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're on all platforms. Yeah, try to push it on there too. Uh, yeah. Facebook. I think they're just they're trying to uh, they're trying to get to where I think Facebook might have a better chance than Instagram does. Although yeah. Instagram right now is popping. Wow, that's uh, that's interesting that you say that. Because <laughs> um, you know, fa- fa- I mean, Facebook has the power. They just, yeah. they, they quote unquote lost their cool because now it's like, you know, the older generation, the kids yeah. kind of go away, but they still have the numbers, man. They're, they're still- and, 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 and old people, what do they do? That's all they do. That's all they do. They, that's all they do. So they, they, they won't, they'll just keep watching. And even if it's something that not good, old people love drama, right? So they'll, they'll look at it. And even if it's dumb, they'll be like, look at this idiot. And they'll sit there and continue watching it. <laughs> well, you know, once once we're done with this interview, you're gonna get a new fan, and I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about my mother-in-law. I'm gonna <laughs> show her your video, and she's gonna become your number one fan. I guarantee you. Yes, <laughs> tell her follow me on Facebook. <laughs> awesome, awesome. But this, this is this is so cool. Can you can you just we're gonna we're gonna put all your information in the notes of the video and the podcast? But can you just tell the audience uh, your handles and how to get in touch with you and all that? Yes, on all my platforms, uh, I'm, I'm I'm under I'm at Jimmy the Greek Seven, uh, or you can go you, they, they punch in my my name Jimmy Devecos, uh, they'll find me. But Jimmy the Greek Seven is probably easier to remember and uh, spell. So yeah, those handles: Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm on all all three of those platforms and YouTube. But I got a smaller following there. But I, I, I got I got I got plans for that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you, I mean, if you, if you stick through and stick with it, I, I'm sure YouTube will also be one of your uh, successes. A hundred percent. Yeah. I'm, 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 I, I, I'm slowly, I'm trying to get my kids on board on that one because that one's going to need a little more work and a little more, uh, more time. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing more for people to get to know us because I don't talk in any of my videos. So I want to do a little bit more so that people can see our, you know, everybody's personality maybe, but I got to make sure they're on board on it. If they don't want to, then we're going to have to figure something else out. Well, look, I mean, you're, the, the only thing limiting you is your own creativity, and you seem like you're a pretty creative guy, and uh, I think this is so cool, and we wish you continued success, because what you're doing is, is awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love what I do. I love, I love it, and, uh, you know, it's mostly spending the time with the kids as much as I can before they go off to college, because <laughs> two more years, my son's out. He's going to hang doing this no more. He's gonna. He's probably gonna be a, a, a local celebrity on campus at that point. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I feel like I, I like I'll go to his football games and everybody's like, "Oh, dude, Jimmy's dad. Let's make a TikTok." You know, they all you know cap on me, they, but they, I but know. they do. All their friends, they uh, they 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 they, they love me. They always they they always like, dude, your parent, your dad's cool. And I'm like, you see, they think I'm cool. What do you guys? You guys think I'm not cool sometimes? They think I'm super cool. Yeah, your kids, <laughs> your kids are gonna be the toughest critics of all. <laughs> they. They, uh, uh, you know what? They're they're good kids. They they are. Uh, I, I I must have done something right because they're they're really good kids. And obviously, we all say the same thing about our kids. And I think I think kids in general nowadays are good kids. Yeah. Better than when we our generation we were a little because there was always you know good and a lot of bad kids. Now it's like uh, they're all good kids nowadays. So well, between me, you, 
and Fluffy, <laughs> Jimmy, I'm going to say, if my kids did half the stuff I did, I would lose my mind. And I'm so glad that they are good kids. <laughs> That's why I dance with my kids and I stay close to them. I don't want them to do what I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. You guys want to be famous? Be famous with Dan. Now they're like, man. That's so. Yeah. This, is, this, so, is it's, it's, this is great. This is great. Jimmy, again, thank you so much for taking the time to, to hang with us. I, I'm sure uh, on behalf of Poti and myself, we want to have you back and keep us updated and um, just continued success to you. Uh, you know, a, a nice Greek guy with a nice Greek family doing some really cool stuff. We want to support as much as we can. And uh, thanks again for being with us. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Continue success to you guys as well. Let me know anytime. I'll I'll come back on anytime and uh and we'll we'll you know we'll continue the conversation. Pick Absolutely. up from where we left off. One hundred percent, we will. And I want to thank everybody out there for watching and listening. You're gonna check out Jimmy's info in the notes. You heard it from him uh, too, and follow him. He is awesome. His family's awesome. Doing really cool, fun stuff. Check it out if you haven't. And we will see you all next time. Thank you for being with us. Bye-bye.